know women tend to think of everyone else before themselves, but there are several things that every woman should address as they get older. We have Dr. Christine Horner with us this morning. She is the author of a book called Radiant Health. I'm waiting for the prompter to continue. <laughs> Ageless Beauty. <laughs> I actually read it, and it's a great book, and there's so much good information in it. Uh, Dr. Warner, or Horner's has been here with us before. Uh, she is a surgeon who then took a change in her career path. Mm -hmm. And tell me about this book, and we have those four mistakes that women are making. Sure. So, yeah, I took a career uh, path change yeah. because I realized that here I was on a cleanup crew, mostly for breast cancer patients, right. when uh, everything could be prevented. So now I specialize in natural health. That's and awesome. Go out teaching everybody. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about our first mistake sure. that we're making that's neglecting. Sure. So uh, kind of in the 40s, what happens is most people um, are still kind of thinking they're invincible like they were yeah. in their 20s yeah. and 30s. But actually, there's a lot of things that can lead to disease later in your life, and it can make a big difference if you do some things in your 40s. So one is neglecting heart health. And a lot of women think that they're not subject to heart health. Yeah. It's a man's disease, but actually it kills 10 times more women than what breast cancer does. So all the things that we've heard as far as diet and lifestyle, eating yes. more plants, so that's right, and getting rid of the junk foods yes, and the that. processed foods and sugars and things like that. Uh, getting exercise, of course, super important for that. Um, there's also some supplements that you can take, okay. simple ones like omega-3 fatty acids, which are considered the most healthy type of fat that you can consume. Um, we actually need a lot of fat in our diet, the way that we didn't think we had to do that, but our cell membranes are made out of fat, our uh, hormones are made out of fat. So uh, the omega-3 fatty acids, also okay. have direct cardiac you know helping effects okay mm -hmm. our second mistake what is that so mismanaging menopause so there's a phenomenon that's occurring where women are, are actually girls are going through mm -hmm. puberty early so in the United States about age 10 is an average where around the world it's 16 to 17 mm -hmm. if you start your period at age 10 there's some health consequences associated with it and they've just found that what happens is you go through menopause early so you could start having symptoms like hot flashes and mood swings and sleep disturbances and things like that even in your 30s and your 40s. Oh now do not go out to your OBGYN and get hormone replacement therapy. It actually increases your risk of many diseases including breast cancer and ovarian cancer. Instead I recommend approaching it naturally and again okay. cleaning up your diet, exercising, yes. getting plenty of rest but um, you know a few months ago I discovered a um, it's a natural supplement that's made from okay, flowers here. from Sweden that kind of look oh. like these daisies called Relizin uh -huh. and I'm really impressed with Relizin because it's been used in Europe for about 15 years, number one hot flash formula in France. They've done, they've studied it actually with the same rigors of what you would do with a pharmaceutical medication. Yes. And so what they found with double-blinded placebo-controlled studies, very effective for the normal menopause symptoms, hot flashes, mood swings, sleep disturbances, and it doesn't have any side effects. So they compared it against placebo and found that um, it didn't have any, you know, kind of side effects any more than what a placebo has. And there's actually over 2,000 OBGYNs in this country are now recommending it to their patients, mm -hmm. thank goodness, because, you know, that's very important. Relative. Yeah. Now with uh, other things that mm -hmm. you can do, these are from ancient cultures, like uh, in South America, they use yeah. maca which we've okay. heard of that yeah, as a superfood, balances hormones. Uh, all of these things are non-hormonal, so okay. it doesn't increase your risk of breast cancer. Black cohosh was used by the Native Americans, and flax seeds is another thing that's very effective at balancing feminine hormones. Okay, we also have, want to talk about um, a makeover. Uh, make a remember what we were talking about uh, you know accepting weight gain yeah. actually you know that about I'm two, take a look at my oh, notes. Sorry, <laughs> about two, about two thirds uh -huh. of people in the United States are uh -huh. overweight and they think oh when you get into oh, middle you can age still make over your life That's completely what it was. Fine. Yes. but actually if you really trade out you know high calorie yeah. things like those high calorie coffee drinks for the ones that are less calories really add more plants yeah. to your diet add some more exercise in there. It's not that difficult to keep your yeah. weight down. And what they found is that even if you gain a little bit of weight, you know, during middle age, it really yeah. increases your risk of many different kinds of chronic diseases and even increases menopausal symptoms. Okay. So yeah, keeping your weight down. And then self-love. Self-love. Self right. You got to even when right. you make mistakes on that's life right. TV, that's you right. just got to love yourself. So give me the yes. name of the book and where we can sure. find it. So my book is called Radiant Health, Ageless Beauty. And you can find it everywhere, Amazon.com and Barnes and & Nobles. And if you want an autographed copy, you can get it from my website, which is drchristinehorner.com. And then you want to take that thing to the health store with you. Yeah, that's shopping. right. That's right. Thank you, Doc. You're Good to welcome. see you again. Thanks. We'll be right back, Arizona. Stay with us.